Recently, I made a video about my organizational troubles in real life, but I also have a slew of problems in the digital world. I have a ton of different hard drives that are packed to the brim with random files, unsorted, and it's just totally a mess. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to create an organizational system with your digital files to make sure you can access, edit, and store your files in the long term. The first step of my computer storage problems is actually going to be something very exciting, and that is unboxing a new computer. For the last few weeks, my computer has been kind of dying a little bit, not really responding the way I need it to, and crashing in important programs. So with Apple's new release of their new 13-inch MacBook Pro, I thought it would be the perfect time to upgrade, and it's been something I've been looking for for a while. So let's get started with the unboxing. First, I'll miss you, buddy. It's just so satisfying. Like, looks very pretty. And in case you're wondering what specs I got, I got the 2020 MacBook Pro with the upgraded processor, the upgraded RAM up to 32 gigabytes, and the storage at one terabyte so I can host some of my video projects and all of my coding stuff on my computer whenever I need it. That was one of the big issues with my old one. It was only a 128 gigabyte SSD in there, and that was painful. Oh. <laughs> now that's exciting. Physical escape key, which I love. Oh, the new keyboard is so great. Let's set this baby up. And once I get it set up, we'll be in the next process, which will be transferring everything over from my old computer to my new computer. And then we'll get into some of the more technical file management stuff. When I first get a brand new computer, the first thing I do is set it up brand new. I don't just take my whole old computer hard drive and throw it in the new one because for me, my plan is to keep my old device or at least back it up. In this case, I'll be using my old device as a secondary machine for development and different servers and personal projects. So that will remain with me. So I don't have to worry about losing all that data. If I didn't do that, I would just back it up because there are a lot of things, especially with development, that I've put on this machine that I didn't necessarily do right. A lot of virtual environments for coding and whatnot that just kind of messed up some of the operating system and I don't want all of that to transfer. So what I do instead is I have a portable SSD and I'll transfer just what I need from my old machine to my new one. So to get started, I will start transferring over applications. If I can download it from the internet, a lot of times I won't transfer it over because it's stuff that I don't immediately need and it might be good just to get a new copy of anyway. While my apps transfer, I'm gonna start looking for things on my old computer that I want to transfer. For me, that does not mean the desktop usually. A lot of times the old desktop will just stay on that computer and I'll access it as need be. There are a few folders on there that I want as well as a few folders in my documents that I want. But most of them, like I said, they're old projects that I just wanna keep in case I ever need to get to them. Let me just show you, this is what my desktop looks like. It's a mess, complete utter mess. So I'm very glad to not have all that on there. And if I do run into a problem, I'll go back to that old one, I'll go back to that backup and I'll transfer exactly what I need just to not bog down the new machine with the problems from the old one. So I've spent the last couple of days transferring everything from my bajillion random hard drives that were totally unsorted to now two different main hard drives. So one of them, is for all of my photo video projects and then the other one is for either backups of my old computers or just other different types of files that need to not be accessed as much more of a traditional backup type thing and then i also have one portable drive that i tend to use and this is my current active projects directory so let's go ahead and take a look at how i now organize my files and it starts with the computer and if I have one recommendation with a computer, it is to upgrade the storage on the front end, especially if it's a Mac and you can't do it before. My old computer had a 128 gigabyte internal SSD and that immediately got filled with pretty much applications and other stuff. So definitely go for an upgrade. I'm excited about a terabyte on here so I can actually store things on the inside. But inside my machine, I have a new goal and that is to keep my desktop empty. And things may pile up, but I need to go through weekly and cleanse it out and move those over to my documents folder. 
and my documents folder is where everything needs to start living. And then my other goal, and this is the big one, is to keep my downloads folder completely empty. Because ultimately, the way that organizational systems fall apart is by not organizing things up front. I am totally guilty of this over the last couple of years and that's why I have all these different drives that are just a mess because I will need an SD card for a project so I'll dump it onto a hard drive under a folder called sort later and then I won't do anything with it for years and I'll forget what it is. Or I'll have a bunch of downloads and I'll be like, eh, I'll get back to them later and then I have 250 downloads and don't know what to do. Or my email will pile up. I think we've all been guilty of just pushing things off but with an organizational system, especially a digital organizational system, it's important to organize it up front so you're not just left with piles of different hard drives that are unsorted that you need to go through and deal with with years worth of stuff that you don't even remember anymore. So let's take a look at what I've been using consistently for the past year and how my organizational system will be used in the future. And like I said, I have two main big hard drives one for more backup stuff that I don't touch as much, and the other one is photo video projects. And for me, that's where most of my storage goes because I'm creating YouTube videos, I'm creating a lot of photos, and that takes a lot of storage. So I have this one main drive, and it's sorted into two different folders, photo and video. And like I said, everything else goes on to my other hard drive. And within that, I have everything labeled under the years. So going down from 2017, eh, it's kind of fishy there. My organizational system was terrible. But once you get down to like say 2020, everything is organized and within that there are project files. So you may recognize some of these from my other YouTube videos. Um, a lot of them like say Georgia Tech Q&A. I have folders within there that organize everything and everything is consistent within each folder as well. And I can get into this later if you guys are interested in a how I organize my video files specifically and how I make my videos, let me know down below. But ultimately it comes down to, for organization purposes, putting everything within project files. And that can be difficult sometimes. I know not everything really falls into a project, especially on the photo side for me. If I go and say take random photos, they may not fall into an exact category, but I try as hard as I can to categorize everything. Because if there's not a category, it just kind of gets lost. And I've used photo software like Lightroom before, and I use that for editing, but that just gets to be a mess for me. I really prefer just to have everything in real folders that I can go and access. So all my graduation pictures, prom pictures, senior trip pictures, etc live within those folders for easy access. So that's more long-term storage, but what do I do when I'm actively working with a project? And yes, I can edit off of this drive. This is a 10 terabyte hard drive. I'll have it linked down below if you're interested. Um, but for when I'm on the go, I use this Samsung SSD. It's a one terabyte SSD. I'm sure you've seen them before. I'll have it linked down below, but this thing is a beast. It's read and write speeds are through the roof, so all my current projects live on here. And I won't go in there because there are some current projects that I'm working on, but I also have future projects, past projects, and then just some things that I want to transfer. So this lives in my backpack all the time, and that's how I can keep my computer empty of files. Now, I'll be honest, sometimes I will just want to put some things on my computer, edit from there, maybe I'll leave a project file on my desktop or something like that and be working on it in Final Cut. That's the video editing software I use. But I really try and keep them on external drives. And the saving grace with this is within a project, no matter what digital software you're using, whether it's photo editing, audio, uh, video, whatever it may be, Everything that you need for that project file is within that project file. So for video, that means all the assets, all of the project files, all of the music, all the sound effects, everything that has to do with that project needs to live within that project folder. That way it's not dependent on where it is within the machine, it's dependent on its relative location within the drive. And that is something that my past projects have not had, that's why um, within my old drive, you see anything 2017 and before. It's just kind of thrown in its own folder. I tried to sort it, but a lot of the stuff is just so misconstrued and messed around that it really can't even be sorted. So the big takeaway from this is while you're in the middle of doing something, organize it, label it, put it in the right category, and make a system that works for you. And I totally understand this system 
is very specific to me and it won't work for everyone. But you need to create a system that works for you and you need to stick to it. Before you go and create terabytes of data, before you go and fill up three different hard drives with random stuff to sort folders or sort later folders or SD card dump folders or something like that, go ahead and stick to an organizational system and make yourself stick to it. And I'd recommend having weekly cleanings where you just go through and clean up. Say you left a couple folders in your downloads folder or say your desktop got a little bit cluttered. Every week, go through and clean it up, put them in the correct folders, organize them, and your life will be so much easier in the future. Now, let's talk about data security. You never want your data to be lost. And the scary truth is hard drives can fail at any time. Um, so there's a few things that I do to alleviate my risk. And the most simple is having multiple copies. So when I'm currently working on a project, it usually lives on this external SSD. So if I have the chance, I'll back it up on my main drive and have another copy on my SSD. But I also make sure to not delete any SD cards with current working files on there. So if I'm currently editing a video on here, the SD card that I recorded it on will still have those files so that if it does get lost on here, it may be okay. And then on my computer itself, I have iCloud backup enabled with my documents and desktop folder. So anything on my desktop or documents will get automatically backed up to iCloud and I don't have to worry about transferring that or anything like that. And then for my entire computer, I'm getting started with a service called Backblaze. And that is a monthly fee to back up my entire computer and it should back up any hard drives that I use. So I'll give you guys an update in a few weeks on how that's going. It's going to take a long time for my Wi-Fi to upload terabytes of data, but that's just another layer of security on top of having multiple copies. And honestly, I should be a little bit better with this. I need to get another 10 terabyte drive to just keep a redundant copy of this one whenever I get the chance, but uh, this stuff gets expensive, so I can't really afford that right now. Um, my rule is I'm only allowed to have one copy of something if the project has been completely finished and closed out. So for my YouTube videos, once I post them, I'm okay with having one copy of that on this drive because if I really need to, I can get back to it and I'm not relying on that project for anything. And it sucks to think about, but if I lose an old file, it's not the end of the world, especially if I have that YouTube copy. And that's one great thing about uploading your work online. Whatever it is, if you create music, video, photo, whatever, publish your work somewhere online because then if for some crazy reason all of your drives go away or something terrible happens, you'll have that online copy. And usually a lot of these online providers are free. So I'm getting my parents set up with Google Photos for all of our family photos. That's a free service. Our videos go on YouTube. And that's just an extra layer of A, ease of access. So you can get on there and look at it whenever you want and data security and redundancy. So I still have a long way to go when it comes to backup, but it's important when you're creating your organizational plan to, from the beginning, start thinking about backup, start thinking about organization, start thinking about what you're gonna do if things mess up. So really it all comes down to prep work in the beginning to alleviate stress in the back end. Don't just dump random files places, keep things in organized project files, keep things out of your downloads folder, keep everything together. Be proactive in organizing your files and you won't have to go through this mess. And if you already have a complete mess of files, spend a couple of hours and really drill down beforehand what you want your system to look like. Plan it out, plan what the file structure will be, plan everything and then attack it all at once and get it all organized. That's what I had to do with all of these files and I'm glad to say I'm pretty much done organizing five years worth of assets from when I was ugh, like 13 years old and didn't know what the heck I was doing to now conducive project folders that I can go back to and access later. So I hope this video is helpful in showing how you may be able to organize your files. Again, you need to just personalize it for yourself and your own files, what you do. But if there's one key takeaway from this video, it is make a system and stick to it. Be persistent and get it done right and you'll thank yourself later. Anyway, that's all for this video. If there's anything else you'd like to see related to my new computer, data storage, how I edit my videos, anything like that, leave a comment down below. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. 
Peace out. Bye.